So I want to start this video on um, how important it is to take the time and venture outside of your comfort zone. And venturing outside of your comfort zone looks like this. Technically, this is not outside of my comfort zone. I grew up in um, rich soil. I grew up in the Caribbean. I grew up living and understanding this life, but I was also raised in the Western mentality, right? And being able to come back to that and have my roots filled has been such a journey. I'm currently in Tulum, Mexico. I've been here for a while, going back and forth. I moved to Mexico in 2021 to Playa de Carmen. And um, I've been traveling back and forth from the States to Costa Rica, Guatemala, um, other parts of Mexico. And I've always been coming back here because before I thought I was gonna move to Tulum when I first moved to Mexico, but apparently that was not, that was not, that was not the, that was not the plan, you know? Um, that was not the plan that the divine had for me um, at that time. And I ended up um, coming to the States, going to the States for a little bit and then coming back here to Mexico and coming to Tulum and been here in Tulum and doing business and playing, going back and forth. Uh, for the past couple months now and when I tell you I'm on my transition out of Tulum and you know because the work that I needed to do here is is has is oh is done for the time being right and I just want to say how important it is to step out, how important it is to step out of your comfort zone, how important it is to strive for the things that you want, to find that peace, that peace inside of you that you know exists outside of you and allow yourself to gravitate to that, those places that do that for you. And when I tell you, when I tell you, you go to places not only to heal your energetic body, but to heal the energetic vortexes and bodies of daughter Gaia. I know we hear the term of mama Gaia so much. And I, I recently have switched my wording with higher enlightenment comes change, right? And um, I was recently enlightened on... Um, that resonates so deeply in me and makes so much sense with the knowledge that I know that, you know, earth, earth and water are feminine, right? Aspects, which I know, but then air and fire, masculine aspects. But within that, earth is daughter, water is mother. If you think about it, we are in this universe, a universe that is created by water, the universe is water. Water is mother. Earth, physical, earth. Earth is daughter, is the creation out of the universe, creation out of the water. So as being mother energies and daughter energies, and I'm only speaking on the divine feminine dominant aspect in this moment in time. It is our duty to, as children of the mother, right? Um, to be able to see those vibrations here on earth. And it has been just this wonderful journey if anyone, I will give, this is the beginning of this video, but I am going to give more detail in this upcoming, in these upcoming clips of what it's like to live in Mexico. How did I and why did I move to Mexico and all the in-betweens of that. So stay tuned for now. Take a second.
take a deep breath and visualize exactly where your heart is telling you to be. Hold that vision. See you in a sec. <laughs>